Okay, so now we're on to these guys here, which is enable normalize curve display and disable normalize curves display and also renormalize curves. So these three here. Now this does a pretty simple thing that's fairly easy to explain. Now I've got an object here that's adds, got some keyframes on it. It's just sort of moving around like this, doing some random animation. Now, because our rotation values are in angles, we've got a rather large move here where we're going to 84 on the timeline, but our translate keys are really not moving very much at all, just in the sort of ones and twos, sort of a time range. And so you get this sort of discrepancy between these keys. Now, if you come across here and then click on the enable normalized curve display, it's not actually changing the values at all, but we hit F now, every curve, it's taking its range and making it go from a maximum of one to a minimum of negative one. So even though we select that curve there, you look at the value, it's 2.545. And if we select these values here, it's, you know, 42.9 six the values are all sort of more in a normalized range so they're not going to be all over the place and this may or may not be handy I'm not a massive fan of this one I find it a little bit difficult to use it it puts things out a little bit just because you might have one of these guys not moving very much at all and suddenly it looks like it's moving it a lot but it can be handy so it is there it's nice and easy to click on to get rid of it we just have to click on disable normalized curve display mode that will go back to the normal one let's just have a look at that again so that will just go back to the normal down into the one to zero, one to negative one range, and then we can click on it there to get it back. Now this last one took me a little while to figure out what it actually did, but if we do have one of these curves here, and you can see it's going from negative one to one, we can bring that up a lot, and you'll notice that it sort of doesn't now, like now that we've made those ranges smaller, it's sort of automatically updating, but it's only going in this very small range here. So if you select that curve and then just hit this button here, that will just put it back to a normalized range of, of negative to one to one. If you go above one or negative one, below negative one, it will sort of automatically renormalize that each time that you can see what's doing there. So it's a little bit confusing. I don't like to have it on too much, but it might be helpful in a number of situations to disable it. Just click that guy there and we're back up and running normally just to do it manually if we are looking at the translate curve separately i'll just filter them out that way you can hit f and that will do it that way so we can just view the translates and the rotates separately but you can also filter them here just by clicking in the channel box and that will filter them down there i might talk about that in a bit more detail but that's very handy as well okay so the next ones that we're going to check here is just this stacked curve display mode it's a really easy one come in there and you can see all the curves just stacked it's just another way. It's kind of like the dope sheet, which is over here, where you just see every line sort of individually taken apart. That may or may not be handy in certain situations. I certainly don't use it a lot, but it is there and you can t disable it there with that button there. And that just will return us to the regular mode.